finds it's Noel here and my better half Rachel who's behind the camera at the moment. We are heading off, it's another early morning, we're heading down to London, Gatwick Airport to be precise, because the reason being is that we are heading off to Iceland, courtesy of Wowware, who are very kindly um, taking us to Iceland to go and have a couple of days away and to film the Wowware experience for everybody on in-flight video. So let's go and have a good trip and see how it goes. <laughs> So we are here at Reykjavik, Keflavik International Airport here in Iceland. Wonderful flight over with Huawei, absolutely amazing service on the flight. A little bit of a delay, but that wasn't really due to Huawei's fault or anything. It was just a delay due to a massive computer failure that's just happened at Heathrow and Gatwick with British Airways. Apparently they've cancelled all BA flights for the rest of the day and that had a bit of a knock-on effect onto us while we were there. So we're now here, it's very cold, just waiting for our shuttle bus to take us to the hotel and um, it's about a 10-15 minute drive I believe. here at the Northern Light Inn in Grindavik which is around 20 minutes away from Keflavik Airport. It's pretty close really, very handy for the airport. Um, absolutely amazed with the scenery that we've seen here on the on route here. Um, look at the view from our hotel room here um, and it's like a Martian landscape and everywhere seems to be like this. Um, like hot springs everywhere as well. Real smell of sulphur in the air as well which is um, Quite interesting to say the least um, and it's really cold we left home and it was like 28 degrees and here it's eight maybe a bit of rain in the air as well so it's very different weather wise to what we've got in the UK at the moment so um, but with this scenery really it just makes up for it <laughs>
So I'm back from a run. That was an amazing experience. Um, running through all the like lava fields and things like that. Really refreshing. Cold and rainy, but really refreshing as well. We are back at the hotel now, about to head out to the Blue Lagoon. Yay! Um, and we're going to go and see what that's all about and have a bit of a relaxing day now. Geothermal water straight from the ground, basically from volcanoes and things, and it just feels absolutely heavenly. It's full of like natural minerals and stuff. It's absolutely amazing. You can see it kind of up on the rocks over there. There's like white deposits, which is all the silica out of the ground, um, and it's just amazing. It's this water just feels so nice to float in. It's extremely relaxing. So we're going to spend a couple of hours here, I think at least, maybe a little longer. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know whether you can hear it under the water. Let me just put this down here. You can hear like the water fizzing straight out of the earth. Hang on. I don't know whether you can hear that, but it's basically as you put your ears under the water, it's like fizzing noise, like you're getting a bottle of fizzy coke or something. Like it's really strange, but it's very nice. been here for 24 hours and it's been cloudy about all the time and as soon as we've gone to the blue lagoon the sun's come out. so we're in iceland surrounded by volcanic rock in a pool of geothermic water naturally heated the only thing to do really is to um, complete it and drink some icelandic beer as well so cheers We've actually got American trucks here. I would so love one of those. So I've come out for a little walk now. It is 20 past 11 at night, if you can look at my watch there. And as you can see from the sky, it is still very light out indeed. And this is as dark as it gets. It'll be light, it'll be like this all overnight now until the morning really. You can see if you look kind of towards the north. It's kind of sunset, but it doesn't actually get dark. Um, I think the sun drops below the horizon very briefly and then um, 
it goes sunset for a couple of hours and then gets, starts getting light again. It's absolutely incredible when you come to places like this. I've been to northern Norway in the middle of winter and it's, you get exactly the opposite effect in the winter as well. It's dark 24-7 pretty much. It gets a little bit dusky light um, in the daytime um, and for a couple of hours and then gets dark again for the rest of the time. And then in the summer, broad daylight for 24 hours so I don't know whether I could cope with living somewhere like this but it really is a call to experience it when you come over here. Okay, so it is now Monday morning and we are just waiting to go home. We've just checked out of our hotel here in Grindavik, Iceland, and we were just waiting for the bus to the airport now in about an hour's time. The weather is taking a turn for the worse. It's very windy and cloudy, so it might be a bit of a bumpy ride out of here, but um, that makes for all more exciting for us riding on the plane. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear this wind, but this is absolutely probably some of the fiercest wind I've ever felt. Um, it's currently battering in this part of Iceland. It's the strongest of the winds been since we've been here. Um, and we just have to fly home, which is even better. Um, I guess this just really gives an indication of what the weather here is usually like. And you have to remember that this is essentially a rock in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean. Um, which is going to get battered by storms like this regularly, so I guess for the locals this is nothing, but for us this is pretty intense.
that's it. We are home, driving back to North Nottinghamshire. We've got a three hour drive back from Gatwick now. So not a very nice journey to do after you've been flying for three hours. We've had an absolutely wonderful time in Iceland, courtesy of Wow Air. Brilliant flights. The flight on the way back was on a brand new A321 that was just delivered two days ago. So that was fantastic to get on board that as well. Um, wonderful flights. Thank you so much to Wow Air for this opportunity for us to fly to Iceland with them. Um, really do appreciate it. I've had a wonderful time and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.